So you guys may have seen my video from yesterday where we went in and we drove around in a 1,000 horsepower Hellcat powered Honda Odyssey minivan. The thing was seriously awesome. It's a thousand times better to drive around than you might expect. Anyways, if you missed the video, I will link to it down below. Anyways, the reason that is important is because yesterday the new update for Forza Motorsport 7 came out and it included some very, very interesting things. Some things you may have seen and some things I guarantee you have not seen just yet. So if you go into your Forza Motorsport 7 right now and you go to buy a car, you can spot two very cool things. If you go over to Bentley, you will spot this Bentley Bentayga with these crazy fender flares, a bull bar along the front, and some roof lights on the top of the thing. On that little thumbnail you see on the next of the spinny car. Same thing goes for this Range Rover. It has these big fender flares and a bull bar on the front. And a lot of people are saying, hmm, could that be a possible off-road expansion for Forza Motorsport 7? It's possible. These thumbnails don't actually look super, super finished just yet. I think they still need some like big chunky tires because if there is gonna be an off-road expansion, you need your car to look big and beefy and have these huge chunky tires on them and in the thumbnail, they just don't right now. But anyways, it looks really cool and an off-road expansion would be much appreciated. It would be super, super cool. There were some other things that have been spotted in the Forza Motorsport 7 update as well, including this bright yellow Honda Civic that you see me driving around. This thing has this crazy wide body kit, and there's actually no way to remove it. If you go into the upgrade thing, there is no way to take the wide body part of it off. In the AR12 Discord, which is also linked down below by the way, we were discussing about this thing and the general consensus seems to be that this thing will be an upcoming Forza Edition car. It sort of just follows the same sort of pattern. It's got these crazy wide body kit. It doesn't seem like an off-roady or a rally style kit because those fenders would just pop off if you hit a bump. So obviously this Honda isn't finished just yet, the wheels don't come all the way out and it probably needs quite a bit more work behind the scenes, but it does seem to be a future Forza Edition car. And there's also a Porsche 924 with a cool wide body kit as well which you can check out. And although that's cool, you can just spot that if you play Forza Motorsport 7 right now. Let's get into the things that you can't see when you're playing Forza Motorsport 7 right now. Yeah, that's all cool, but then. The Admeister, you might remember this guy because he was one of the guys who was the first to go into the Forza Horizon 3 dev build, take the convertible roofs off of cars, activate pop-up headlights, he's a super cool dude, he's posted some seriously cool stuff, and he is back at it again. He went on to GT Planet and he posted some thumbnails of some cars that are not in Forza Motorsport 7 right now, but for whatever reason, the thumbnails were included in this recent Forza Motorsport 7 update. If you'd like to check out the thumbnails, I will link to them in the description down below and you guys can check them out for yourself. There are some seriously cool ones. Let's run through this list though, because there is some very, very cool stuff that I think deserves some talking about. So let me read off my list here. These are the returning cars that would have been in previous Forza games that he was able to find thumbnails for. The Morgan Aero SS, the Bentley 8 liter, the Ascari KZ1R, the Austin Healey Sprite and the Austin Healey 3000, the MG MGB GT, that's a lot of letters, the Eagle Speedster, and I'm gonna mispronounce this, the TVR Cerebra Speed 12. That's cool. So those are all of the returning cars, and although they are cool, you can play a lot of them in probably Forza Motorsports 4, except maybe the Ascari's in Horizon? I'm not sure, it was a long time ago. But let's talk about the cars that have never been in a Forza game before, because this is where this list gets very, very interesting. There's a Morris Minor, the car that Top Gear famously dropped on pianos every 12 minutes. There's an Austin FX4 Taxi, which is the London cab that you see driving around, is now in the Forza Files as well. There's also a Ford Fiesta GRC, which is the famous rally car that you see driving around nowadays. It's super cool looking, I recommend you check it out. Links down below, like I said. There's also a Ford Escort RX3, which is quite cool as well. There's a facelift Ford Mustang GT. And then, let's get in to the very, very cool stuff. There is a Peel P50, which you may remember as being the smallest car in the world. Eh? I know it was unintentional, but I did it. You might remember this thing from Top Gear when Jeremy Clarkson drove it around in the BBC offices. This thing has been spotted in the files for Forza Motorsport 7. There is also a weaponized Aston Martin DB5, which belongs to James Bond. This thing has like wheels attachments that come out sort of like those wheels that Top Gear did again that spin when they stick out on those old cop cars. There's also seem to be missiles. On the front of it, it's very strange, but I urge you to check it out down below. There's also the newest car of the bunch, 
the McLaren Senna. As god-awful as this thing looks, it is going to be an absolute beast to drive around. I cannot wait, personally, to give this thing a go. But this thing is also being spotted in the files for Forza Motorsport 7. You might be going, yes, all of these cars are coming to Forza Motorsport 7. And you might be right, but you also might be wrong. This has actually happened before. Back in Forza Horizon 3, there was a leak very similar to this with the Forza Horizon 3 dev build where everyone got the access to the files and stuff. And there were some cool things spotted in that. For instance, the McLaren SLR, as well as the Jensen Interceptor. And if you go into Forza Horizon 3, neither of those cars are available. These cars being found in the files of the game just means that Forza basically has the models for them and that's really it. We don't know what they're gonna be used for, if they're gonna be used at all. We will just have to sit back and relax and wait for the future and hope we can be pleasantly surprised sometime down the line. So yeah, I seriously hope these cars do eventually come to a Forza game in the near future, but I don't really know what's gonna happen with them if they're gonna be in the game whatsoever, but I thought it was quite cool to talk about them. What do you guys think they're gonna be used for? Let me know in the comments down below and we can get some discussion going and maybe make a follow-up video down the line. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you learned something today, make sure you subscribe, smash the like button, and I will see you guys soon. And hopefully I can report on these cars being added in a future DLC to Forza Motorsport 7. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye!